coming into main straight away. Away they go. Colin O'Toole got away well. Steve Robinson popped the bump from Mick Mullins as they went into main straight away. But what happened was Mick Mullins sort of got on the gas and it got sideways on him and uh, Robinson had nowhere to go. So Colin O'Toole has uh, taken up the running off. Oh, Steve Robinson got out very wide. One, two, three cars shot past him in a flash. Here's Kevin Hopwood looking for some space to move, and he got that space as well. Super move by Hopwood, and uh, there goes Cannon through on the inside. Well, Colin O'Toole in the meantime has had this race more or less presented to him. Ray Parrish from Queenslander is gone. The red light's on. What happened there? The car's on its roof. Is that Colin O'Toole? Yeah, that's O'Toole, Ross, the race leader. He's in trouble. He's obviously bounced into the turn and kept bouncing up and over. I mi completely missed the incident. I lost I lost it completely because he was so far out in front, Joel. I went back to the the battle involving Ray Claridge and um, and Kevin Hopwood. I went back to their battle and then wondered why they were backing off with the red light on. Now I know Colin O'Toole has sold it out completely in turn one and he was the race leader. to see whether he's all right, Ross. It, uh, yeah, there he is, Joel. Off, he's out Just okay. Out. Yep. A good start. They've landed in an awkward spot too, on the lid and uh, being trapped in the car there like that. But, uh, but he's out and okay. A little bit shaken, no doubt. But uh, Colin O'Toole, he had the race, as Ross mentioned. He was out in front. Just eight laps to go. He was looking sweet and then uh, all of a sudden looked up and uh, we could see was the bottom of the car parked itself in turn number one so obviously I think what may have happened is he's thrown it into the turn in that you can see from up here it's getting very bumpy and uh, very ruddy in turn one so uh, I'm only guessing that that's what happened that he's, uh, he's snagged in one of those ruts Regrouping for a single file restart. And here come the leading cars back into the track marshal's control. Just about set and ready for the restart. Eight laps of journey, lights are flashing. We're ready to race for the modified Tui's feature. They get the green flag to you, second on their way to the start. As the Queenslander, Ray Claridge, now they're all starting to pick a different line going into that turn now. And Claridge is the race leader. Second spot, Kevin Hoffman. I've been very impressed with his step into the modified ranks. Really is starting to come of age and uh, drive nicely. He came up on the inside there and Claridge got a little bit of a look at him. Now he might try and drive underneath him as they come out of turn one, two, but he just hasn't quite got the room he needs. And another man that's uh, start fast developing as a top gun is Scott Cannon in car number 70. And he's joining in too. Ah, oh, there goes Hopwood on the inside. Clarice drifted off the uh, line a little and that's all it took for Kevin Hopwood, who really has been a superb touch in the modified ranks to go to the race lead. And if anyone has deserved a, a big win, it's this man, Kevin Hopwood, out in front. Oh, Cassidy got sideways, nearly bounced it over on his lid himself. He'll find a little bit of trouble with those ruts developing with the style of driving that he's got, keeping that uh, modified rod on all fours. But it's Kevin Hopwood who's starting to stretch away with this race. From the second place, get a Claridge. He's coming under all sorts of pressure from uh, Cannon in car number 70. Cannon now moves up. Oh, got a bump with him on the inside. They get, managed to 
come away okay, but Claridge has dropped back now into third spot, and Can has managed to bump his way up into second placing, but I think he's given Kevin Hopwood too much start. With only three laps left remaining, Kevin Hopwood moves up to some of the slower cars, but he's doing it pretty easy out in front. And Steve Robinson's not happy either, the former Australian champ, either the car's not running well or he hasn't got it set up for his bitey conditions because he hasn't made any impression. In fact, he's dropped right back off. He's half a lap behind Kevin Hopwood. Scott Cannon is trying to chase out after Hopwood and maybe these two uh, young guns might be the ones to watch in the Australian title. Kevin Hopwood, Scott Cannon, they're running first and second. Ray Claridge from Queensland is third. Greg Cassidy is fourth and Steve Robinson is fifth. But we're under the white flag. In fact, we're now coming down for a checker and Kevin Hopwood manages to keep it all together and win the race. Only just from Scott Cannon who came home very strongly. Greg Cassidy got up the third, past the uh, Queenslander uh, Ray Claridge, with Lismore's uh, Steve Robinson back in fifth place. No time taken with a couple of race stoppages. And the 63 of Kevin Hopwood, very, very impressive in 